for absolute value function you have learned the function before in chapter 2 where the function include modulus sine all right there are two cases of absolute value function first where it involves only positive modulus okay how do you sketch the graph right first step what you need to do is you need to take the function inside the modulus and equal to zero this step is to find the coordinate of the buchu of the absolute value function contohnya di sini x equal to 0 and then because we are dealing with coordinate we need the value of y how to find y just sub back the value of x into the function itself fx equals to modulus z rho which is still 0 so the coordinate of the vertice, vertex or the which is 0 0 so here is the point of the vertex okay and then because outside the modulus is a positive so dia macam pembahagi ya you tarik satu belah kanan ke atas straight okay macam ini and then satu lagi belah kiri you tarik ke atas kiri sini okay itu kalau modulus x for the second case is where there is a negative sign outside the modulus like here but the step are the same the first step we take the function inside the modulus and equal to zero why do we need that step because we need to find the coordinates of the vertex of the graph so here when the x0 we sub the value of x0 into the function back fx equal to negative modulus 0 which is still negative 0 or z rho so the coordinate for the vertex of this graph is still the same f uh, 0 0 but the difference is only because at the step 2 when we need to sketch the graph since there is a negative sign outside the modulus we need to sketch downwards like here but still the same shape which is V okay for the domain absolute function most of the cases are from negative infinity to infinity but for the range you need to be very careful look carefully at the graph if as for example for this case you can see domain uh, for range kita bergerak dari bawah ke atas jadinya dari sini dari negative infinity they stop until zero because atas zero there is no graph do you understand everyone if you understand you go to the example untuk memahirkan awak lagi ya. Baik, untuk yang ini Sama juga Tidak kisah kalau awak faham If you understand completely What are the steps Only two steps required 
you for you to sketch the graph contohnya yang ini ya apakah stepnya step pertama tadi first step you find the coordinate of the vertex so here take x plus a equal to 0 so x equal to negative a the value back into the function modulus negative a modulus negative a plus a zero so the coordinate of the vertex is negative a zero so here is the location of the point and then be, the step for the step two the second step because yeah because outside of the modulus is positive so you just bentukkan dia bentuk macam V tarik sahaja nah, itu sahaja dua step sahaja untuk sketching the absolute value same also for this example ok for this example the first step should be x equal to 0 ambil yang dalam modulus sahaja ya. luar modulus jangan ambil kita tak ambil dia ok and then sub balik fx equal to modulus 0 plus a so dapat a so that's why coordinate of the vertex is 0 a fx is the value of y and then same because uh, the modulus is positive you tarik bentuk v ke atas faham? Alright, for this example, eh, fx equals so modulus x plus 3 sketch the graph and then we need to find the domain and range from the graph. Okay, first step, what is it? Find the coordinate of the vertex. How do you find? First of all, you take the function inside the modulus x plus 3 equal to 0. So, x equals to negative 3. That's not it yet. After that, you need to substitute the value of x equals to negative 3 into the, f, the fx back. So, f negative fx equals to negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. Here is for f negative 3. Right, jadi koordinat untuk uh, bucu atau vertex for this function is negative 3 z row. Jadi you boleh dah sketch terus untuk ke step 2 eh. Okay, here. Negative 3 is around here and then 0 is around here. Okay, itu bucu jadi Uh, untuk menentukan sama ada kita tarik V ke atas atau V ke bawah terbalik kita tengok luar modulus adakah dia positif atau negatif disebabkan dia positif untuk function ini dia V ke atas faham? ok jadi di situ you can determine or control the domain is negative infinity until infinity and for range careful range is at the y value dari bawah ke atas and then start from 0 to infinity do you understand we go to this example nah okay fx equals to modulus x minus 2 what is the first step ha huh. what is the first step do you still remember okay very good the first step is you find the coordinate of the vertex here the function inside the modulus is only x so just take x equal to 0 okay now you only have the value of x you need to find the value of y how do you find value of y you masukkan balik nilai x0 into the function f0 modulus 0 minus 2 you akan dapat 0 minus 2 which is negative 
faham jadi itulah koordinat bucu dia the vertex coordinate after you get the vertex coordinate you can sketch the graph alright the coordinate is 0, negative 2 0 at 0, negative 2 is here ok, here is the location and then you check the modulus is it positive or negative? positive so bila positive, the V ke atas faham? baik now, for the domain from so negative infinity until positive infinity for the range okay careful dari bawah paling bawah ia adalah negative to to positive infinity that's all for absolute value do you understand